Yeah, so I mean, if you're focusing, you know, when we're, when we're very early on, so pre-launch, for example, we're spending a lot of time focusing on, um, we, we use homepage kind of activation as a metric, um, and really you're capturing kind of an email address early on. Mm -hmm. That's when we're doing a ton of the landing page stuff, and we're running targeted kind of AdWords or Facebook ads or, um, you know, various social kind of stuff. And we're simultaneously, you know, trying to build up a base of users, but more importantly, we're trying to kind of understand the positioning that works. So what headlines are working effectively? Um, do big images of people work better than product shots? Is it better if it's a man or a woman? Is it better, you know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, longer form uh, landing pages or simpler landing pages? What are the benefit statements? Um, and so we try to focus on that stuff kind of while we're building the product because it lets us hone in on kind of our marketing strategy kind of going forward. Um, once they go live and they actually have a product, you know, you're continuing to kind of work on that. Um, but you, we spend a lot of our time at that point looking at their onboarding process. So, um, and, and this is tricky. I mean, a lot of people talk about like the Facebook knows that if you get 10 Twitter followers that are 10, you know, 10, you're following 10 people, you're very likely to become a sticky and engaged user. Right. Um, that's a very hard metric to kind of get to. You need a lot of data and a lot of time to kind of stumble towards that. Mm -hmm. um, but we have found there being a lot of value in kind of making a guess. So um, if, you know, we have a fashion app, if a user comes in X number of times over the first 30 days, um, you know, how likely are they to kind of become a long-term user? If they like X number of items, if they create a lookbook and actually add some stuff to it, hmm. that increases the likelihood. So we pay a lot of attention to those kinds of activities that will allow, will make them a retained user. Um, and it starts during the onboarding process. And so from a, from a, um, like a B2C type product, uh, or, uh, like, like a social network, you're paying attention to your retention rate. So like, um, monthly actives, daily actives, that kind of thing. And you're doing everything you can to kind of manipulate that part of the equation because daily actives is a really good indicator that you have a sticky product. Um, from a SaaS kind of based business, if, especially if you're doing like a free trial, everything is about like free to paid conversion. And so what do we do to kind of increase that? Mm -hmm. um, you know, further down the road, I think, you know, you look more at um, things that you can do to manipulate churn and kind of increase lifetime value of the customer and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Again, a lot of our clients are so early that that's not that relevant. Right. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so the, 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 I guess the high level thing, and this wasn't our insight. I mean, the whole one metric that matters thing, um, it really tries to focus, it, it prevents kind of analysis paralysis for one. Yeah. It gives people a very clear goal that they're going after, and it focuses on one kind of an outcome that is actually meaningful. So right. we're all familiar with kind of the vanity metrics thing and all that kind of stuff. The tendency for people when they kind of want to, when, you, when, when we have our progress meetings, to bring you, is to bring you like a keynote document that has like 30 slides on it, and there are these 30 different things that they're trying to optimize for. And they're a very small team, and they have limited time and limited resources, and it's really, really hard to simultaneously um, optimize all of those aspects of, of your funnel. And so um, it's just a much smarter approach. It seems like you're moving slower maybe because you're only focusing on kind of one thing at a time, but right. you end up getting further along when you step back in 12 months down the road.